I did something cheesy. We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. Hello everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. Apparently today is the official day of One Direction's break. I have no idea about it. I mean, I got texted at like 4 a.m. And, you know, like from one of my children talking about how X Factor was their last performance and they were on their break. I was to believe that they were going on break in January, but apparently the, the break is today. So in dedication of that, I wrote a letter, which is again why I said it's probably cheesy and corny, but I don't care because, you know, this is sincere and from my heart. This is technically directed towards One Direction, even though they're probably never going to see this. It doesn't matter. So I had wrote a letter to One Direction explaining my feelings and everything like that. And of course, it could be longer and go deeper into detail, but I'm not trying to make this video four years long, okay? So we're just going to do this, and we're just going to read pretty much what I said. And, you know, 1D, if you have ever happen to be watching this, I love y'all. And to future Amber, hi! Okay. This is how the letter goes. <clears throat> Dear One Direction, you guys cause a lot of pain, you know? Physically and emotionally. No, like seriously, stop. Being a fan since 2012, I miss y'all's first album. <laughs> Oops. But it's okay, because I still fell in love with y'all. Years passed with joy and love and occasional drama. But all fandoms go through that. And in 2014, tons of shit went down. And we as a whole fandom was so ready and so prepared for 2015 and just be happy and have small amounts of drama and just live our lives. But no, that's not what happened, is it? Like seriously, 2015 was the longest year ever. Honestly, I feel like it should have ended four months ago. I don't know why it's still going on. And as much as after all the main drama happened in 2015, we were ready for 2016, but now we're just ready to completely throw 2016 out of our lives and just skip straight to 2017 so that we could see y'all perform again. One day you are officially on your break. And now we have to wait until 2017, maybe even longer than that. And it's crazy and it's scary for me and for a lot of people in my fandom to think about it because y'all have done a lot for us. So just knowing that y'all are just gonna not be performing on shows and stuff, it's just gonna be wild, okay? I just wanna thank you for everything. All of y'all have saved my life in many ways that other people wouldn't understand. My fandom might understand what I'm talking about, but other people wouldn't. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to see OT4 in person before they went on their break. It literally meant the world to have been able to see my idols and my heroes and my everything just live in person and just jump around on stage and just have fun and seeing the music that has changed me and has changed my mindset of things and has made me the person that I am today. I don't want people thinking that I'm getting all sappy and everything like, oh my gosh, One Direction did not create you. Your parents did. One Direction did not mold you. You molded yourself. Yeah, but One Direction is the music that I like. And One Direction is the music that has helped me through some really tough times. People need to put that into perspective. That one song that just literally saved us from crying and from tears and from beyond worse things that could possibly happen is heroic to a lot of Directioners. And I need One Direction to understand how much we truly appreciate them. And I need the world to understand that this isn't nothing, oh my gosh, it's just a bunch of fangirls all sad and everything. Like One Direction is their life. One Direction is not your life. First of all, you don't know about me. You don't know about me. So don't make it seem like you know what, what's going through me and my fandom's mind because you don't. I want One Direction to be happy. And they deserve a break. They really do. It hasn't necessarily fully hit me that One Direction are going on this break and that we're not going to be able to necessarily see them on TV and we're not going to get new music videos and we're not going to get new interviews or nothing. You know, they're just, they're not going to disappear like from the planet. Like we're still going to get pictures of them and everything like that, but we're not going to get detailic things from them unless, unless they want to tweet us hey, I just ate a bagel today or something. Or unless they want to get personal Snapchats and like, you know, 
out it so that we can follow them on Snapchat. I mean, the One Direction Snapchat ain't doing nothing for me. I'm, I need some personal Snapchats that y'all Snapchat every single day, every other day, something like that. Now, if I have that, I will be good. I'm definitely OT4 AF, not even going to deny that. But whenever I joined this fandom, it was OT5, and I'm always going to love OT5. End of story. Being in this fandom has brought me to so many great and so many amazing people. Like literally kisses and hugs and love to all of my internet friends. I love y'all so much. And kisses to all my sours because low key, One Direction brought us all together. As this letter comes to an end, I only ask one thing. Wendy, please come back. I've had many bands lie and have the audacity to say that they are going to come back, but they never come back. I've been through band breakups before and it is the worst thing ever. And I'm not trying to jinx nothing or throw nothing out there or nothing like that. I just, I just, all I'm asking for is for One Direction to come back. And you know what? If they end up choosing to stay out and to not want to be a band anymore, I want them to know that I fully support them with whatever decision they want to do. Because they gave me the best four years of my life and there's no taking that back no matter if they come back or not you know I'm gonna forever have the memories and forever have the feelings and forever have everything that's happened since I've joined this fandom and that's the stuff that changes your life One Direction thank you for everything you've done I love you One Direction and I hope you have a good break so that was the end of it um the hardest thing about truly speaking out your feelings on people that on on famous people that you love is that there's always going to be somebody who's going to say you know you're making it seem like you know that they did break up you're making it seem like that they died and everything and it's like no I'm not I'm letting them know my feelings and I don't have a problem with that I don't have a problem with letting the internet know and letting them know how I truly feel about them because this is real this this is really how I'm feeling in 2017 when I rewatched this video I might think that I was an idiot for posting it I might think that I was pretty bold as fuck for posting it but right now I'm happy I'm posting it this is not the end hashtag history was meant for us just bask in the glory and just Always love 1D and always rep 1D and you'll be good. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Remember there were five Ds but Jimmy only protested for one. And even Jimmy's going to be coming back. <laughs> Bye guys.